So we have another artist that's going to perform here at Orlando's Nursery, December 12th. And this is A-Dub White on the phone right now. Congratulations, Mr. A-Dub. I up, appreciate bro? you, man. Hopefully. How y'all doing, man? Appreciate y'all. We Thank good, you. brother. We good. How about yourself? Trying to stay uh, warm. Hey, trying to stay warm, trying to stay safe, everything. You know, right. keep my hands clean. Face Wash your hands. Everything. That's yes, it. Like trying bro. to stay alive, literally. Right. You know, right now. A-Dub is amazing. If you don't know, he goes by the name of A-Dub White. Andrew White is a Christian hip-hop artist, songwriter, based out of South Florida, known for his uplifting metaphor, heavy verses, Mixed with catchy hooks. And that's the truth, because that's what attracted me to him. Really? If you check him out, I mean, he's amazing. He does walk with Christ and his personal experiences to connect deeply with his audience. And he got some catchy hooks, they he, say. He, uh, to me. Who said that? Uh, uh, they say. Who is they? <laughs> now, I just heard something on a, on a sidebar from what uh, one of his tracks, and he got some catchy hooks in does there. Does it? Mm. Yeah, he does. Maybe we can get a hook call tonight. <laughs> maybe we can get maybe we can you know a lot of time people set stuff run and it don't be true you know what I'm saying <laughs> ain't no sense you coming way down here from Miami man <laughs> right if it's nah, not man, true I, can't, I, can't, I really can't wait to come up there and, and show you oh yeah well, it, you, hey you can show me right now sir you mm. need some music or you need a beat what, you I want mean, him to spit right now yes yes hey Dub White are you ready for I mean, this hey right now oh. they did it to what me you, too bro what for me <laughs> Yeah, just, now, just what say you what's got on your for heart. me, brother? I, <laughs> hey, I, I got uh, uh, twenty. We got thirty thousand people listening. That's what yeah. I got for you. So, can we hear something from A Dub? We actually have eighty. Eighty. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. Trying to put me on the spot. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. One two. Yeah, one two. Give me, give me something. One two. One two. Oh man, I, 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 I don't do music like uh, that. <laughs> I don't even know how to beat bumps. I mean, what, what, what you want, bro? Just do a freestyle. Don't don't even think about it too yeah, hard. Just fly. Just flow. <laughs> or just running your written songs. Just fly something? Yes. All right, here we go. Uh, decisions, decisions. <laughs> uh, Y'all put me on the spot, but here we go, here we go. For a miracle, I'm praying for a miracle. Okay, okay. I don't want to hear anything they say. Fall short, get the devil on the prey. We all fall short, so we all got to pray. When the praise go up, the blessings on the way. Some of y'all want to be the rabbit in the race, but that's all y'all. If you still want to play, got a map for you. If you lose it your way, yeah. But at yeah. the end of the day, oh, what? That, yeah, yeah, hey, man, we ain't said rap to him all night, man. That was good. Yeah, you, you see, good job, brother. That I was like good. that. that I, was I like that. I like how you put him on the spot, Prince, because uh -huh. as artists, they need to be done on the spot, uh -huh. especially in radio and broadcasting. Yes. So I love it, and I That's like the thing. when you when you put me when you put me on the spot. I, I'm thinking about a hundred rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> what is gonna be the one? Yeah, the, the one. one. And the clean, well, they're all clean. So we appreciate you. I think your music is insane. I actually saw you, you, you spinning a little bit at East Studio, and I saw a little bit of that video. I thought that was amazing. So uh, big shout out to East Studio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they putting people yeah, on the map. That was fun, man. That was for uh, Second Samuel uh, video shoot and and um, listening session, man. That was that was amazing. Amazing. Yeah, Second Samuel, Samuel will be performing December twelfth as well. <laughs> we all gonna be up in there. <laughs> It's a family. Family. My brother, man. <laughs> yeah, this is amazing. Yeah. And check this out, guys. Predominantly, the artists are all Christian based. I'm just uh -huh. saying. Oh, yeah. wow. And that wasn't catered to it. It was uh -huh. catered to independent artists, period. Right. Um, That does have clean music, of mm -hmm. course. Mm -hmm. And just out of yeah, all of them, it's insane. Yeah. Genesis. The mute. Yeah. The Genesis. She's a killer. Oh, she Genesis is singing too. No, she. she so. No, she won't Gen be there. Man. Yeah. I couldn't get. Oh, I'm about to say y'all bring a Genesis. I love Genesis. I couldn't get her. I got man, Second Samuel out there, group. I just, I just like caught on to her like recently, man, and I was like, wow. Yeah, I caught it like, the first not, time I heard. There's not a lot of female. Yeah, there's not a lot of female rappers in the, in the Christian industry. Right. Mm -hmm. And, and she amazing, sings too. Man. She does. She's she's her, a, check her soul. insane. She's uh, diverse. Yeah. You know, and she's so confident. Yes, yeah, she is. And by that confidence, yeah. that it's just attractive because you want to hear her. Yeah. And she could kill it. And those, there's also another young lady, a part of this group that's coming out. And I just seen her. I want to talk to her. Okay. okay. So they're killing it. Their confidence is insane. And how they collaborate is like a beast. Like an MC Light uh, to Queen Latifah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you and I, T.Y. Yes, sir. You got to bring the word. 
Right. Absolutely. Now, we're going to play. Actually, we're going to air your track, uh, A-Dub. So thank you so much for giving that to us and for allowing us to be with you on this journey. Uh, just real quick, um, a quick little testimony. Just tell us real quick, why is the reason that you got into music? And why did you decide to keep it more of a Christianity or more of speaking about God mm -hmm. of that nature? Um, I started really early, man. My, my pop was a DJ. My mom used to wake up every Saturday morning playing music. So it was like in like instilled in me. But, you know, I was doing all of that other rap since 10, uh, recording at 14. But then when uh, my wife now drugged me to church when we were dating, mm. you know, me and God came, um, had a relationship, <laughs> built a relationship. And then I felt that all the stuff I was talking about before was fabricated. Right. So now I'm just wow. talking about my life. I'm talking about my struggles. I'm talking about my search, my, my, you know what I'm saying, my passion. Real. And it just feels more intuitive. You know what I'm saying? It feels more me. Yeah. Mm. So I, I ain't got a million dollars. I wish I did, but I ain't got no sports car. I wish I did, but yeah. I can tell you what I went through two years ago, three years ago. You know, that, that, I can tell you how I feel when, when somebody passes away. I can tell you that, but mm. that's me. Hmm. That's powerful. Yep. It is very and good for him. He found his way. A big shout out to wifey. Yeah, hey, bought him a check. <laughs> Isn't that a beautiful thing that when you can um when you find your way and and you can release who you are? Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, everybody exactly, should exactly. be that way. And find if your you, path. And if you don't feel that you can be who you are, then we gotta find somewhere for you. You know that you can release that. Because that's important, guys. Why, why are we all here? Uh -huh. We're creative minds, freely thinking. Right. When we come together, we blow up. You right. know what I mean? So it's like. Yeah, yeah. It's, you got to keep. it's crazy. Us. Like, all the time I was doing all the other music, I've never even had a look. But as soon as I started talking about God and speaking about Jesus and, mm. and, and about the word of God, that's when all the doors start opening up in, in fold. Mm. Nice. Wow. Crazy. You're around the That's right individuals. Up, right. Hey. <laughs> How can we reach you, brother? Give us your platform. All right, man. I appreciate appreciate y'all again, man. I, I can't wait to see y'all next in a couple weeks, man. <laughs> yes, sir. Give us all your uh, information. How can you be reached? I'll be booked. Um, you can find you can, you can book me at A Dubs Music. That's A D B S M U S I C at Gmail dot com. You can find me on all social media at A Dubs Music. A D U B S M U S I C. Um, and you can find all my music wherever you stream at, at A-Dub White. That's A-D-U-B-W-H-I-T. Sorry. No worries. <laughs> nice. Hey. We appreciate you, brother. We finna play your track. Oh. Hey, we can't wait to see you December the 12th at Landscape Nursery. You guys, we having a Christmas festival Yay. right here in Atlanta, hey, Florida, you guys. Man, I can't wait. It's going to be all the way live. That's so right, guys. We appreciate you, brother. Be safe, and we'll see you soon. Yes. You got to tune in all to right, man. A. Y'all have a great Dumb. night, man. God bless. You Thank you, A. Dub White. Yes. Let's play this track. Woo. Should I go right? Should I just give up? I put up a fight. In the midst of the darkness. I'm just trying to be a light. Got a bunch of decisions. Hope I choose right. Should I go this way? Or should I go right? Should I just give up? Or put up a fight? In the midst of the darkness. I'm just trying to be a light. Got a bunch of decisions. I hope yeah. I choose right. Okay, say it keeps on attacking me And at times it's too hard to hold them off I wanna give up, but actually I start thinking about everything I lost I know some people so mad at me They wanna wear the crown but don't know the cost I know that Jesus is dying for me When he laid his life down upon the cross I thought some homeboys were right for me Until the wheels fall off and the gas is gone When I was down and I needed help Ain't nobody even wanna pick up the phone And I had some choices to make I separated the real from the fake Had to ask God, remove all the hate And I know all of y'all can't relate Okay, I'ma tell everybody pipe down Ain't ready, better get ready right now Cause you know you're coming back But nobody knows when So it's time to take a look at your lifestyle I just wanna get a blind insight now I'm just trying to turn the dark into light now It was time for a change Cause I had to do better Cause now I got a daughter and a wife now Should I go this way? Or should I go right? 
Should I just give up or put up a fight? In the midst of the darkness, I'm just trying to be a light. Got a bunch of decisions, hope I choose right. Should I go this way or should I go right? Should I just give up or put up a fight? In the midst of the darkness, I'm just trying to be a light. Got a bunch of decisions, I hope I choose right. Okay, decisions, decisions yeah. can result in collisions, collisions. Okay. They can build up a crumble of business. They can bring you in the need of division. Okay. It's the difference from losing and winning. Yeah. You can be the defense of defending. Okay. Jesus traded us mercy for sinning. Yeah. When he said it, it's finished, it's finished. Yeah. Should I go this way? Or should I go right? Should I go right? Should I just give up? I put up a fight. Dukes up, cause I ain't going nowhere. Opportunities will be knocking on the door there. Got a bunch of trash like I ain't got no hair. How you gonna reap when you know you don't sow there? Honestly, I really didn't think you wanna go there. Woo! I'm gonna do what I do for the Lord, and ain't nobody stopping me. I told the devil to flee, and I walk him, get off of my property. They wanted me to go to jail, and I told him, nah, this ain't monopoly. Cause you got decisions, and he got decisions, let's all make a Should property. I go this way? Or should I go right? Should I just give up or put up a fight? In the midst of the darkness, I'm just trying to be a light. Got a bunch of decisions, hope I choose right. Should I go this way or should I go right? Should I just give up or put up a fight? In the midst of the darkness, I'm just trying to be a light. Got a bunch of decisions. I hope that you was right. Hope that you were right. We got the one and the only on. Mrs. Angela, Mrs. International ah, World. Ooh, Mrs. Angela is the CEO and founder of Miss International World and wow. Miss Latina International. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> How you yes, doing? yes, yes. Miss oh, Angela, yeah. we got so many big things that has happened to us. Please release it. I am so excited. I've shared everything of yours. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, and as a matter of fact, something, uh, another exciting uh, item came out tonight. I was huh. just featured in uh, Sheen magazine, which I haven't posted up on my uh, on my Facebook page. They did a uh, an entire article on me, mm. and they actu- actually called me the entertainment icon. Oh, my gosh! I was like, yes, so. when, I, <laughs> when I saw that, I was like, whoa, okay, you know, uh, I'll take it. Yeah. So, um it is definitely up there. And then, of course, uh, Lux Magazine, which is published in England but goes throughout all of Europe and Asia, wow. has awarded Miss International World as Best International Pageant USA. Ah! This is huge, guys! So, we, wow. so we've got that. And then uh, I will be sending, uh, Mimi, I will be sending you the link because uh, Pageant Planet has nominated us for uh, Best prize package and the reason being that they did that was two things bahama paradise cruise line number one and they did see that i was associated with peace on the street so they felt that these girls had media content so but you could go and you could go in there and vote for us for several different categories and leave a review, and that'll give these girls a, a major, uh, mm. a, you know, prize package. And then I also am going to be uh, on a reality TV show called Dream Away, where I will be a mentor for, uh, you know, young people that want to get into the entertainment or the fashion industry. Wow, so, beautiful. Mimi, I owe it all the peace on the oh! street for giving me this great publicity. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear this. I almost knocked, I almost knocked down my guest. <laughs> it's <laughs> okay, <laughs> Mimi. I almost hit him. I was so excited. This is amazing. We've seen international. I mean, that is the title, Miss yeah. International World. I mean, right. So we're already being seen international-wise. And it's a beautiful thing. And to be recognized, yeah. let, tell us what to do. We're going to do it. We'll write in the comments, reviews. We're so excited to be a part of this journey. Miss Angela, in that title, it did say the beautiful Miss Angela. I'm just yes. saying. It did say it. <laughs> <laughs> that photo was amazing, and you killed it. We're so happy and honored to be a part of your journey. Oh, uh, Miss Angela. Yes. I heard you could say. <laughs>
Are you going to put her on a spot? Yeah. <laughs> He's putting you've everybody coming, on, the you've spot, on the spot. on the show for two years. <laughs> it's true. We didn't know you could sing. <laughs> That's, that, that, is, that is true. Well, you know, I mean, just give me a lyric or some, you know, give me some. Mr. Mean, Ezra, he wants you to sing. Yeah, Will you sing just, live? Just, just, would you sing live for Just give me some. I ain't saying sing to us all night. You know, <laughs> sing like you're getting paid. Just just give us a little shum shum. You want, you want a little bit of, um, let's see. Uh, let me see if I can think of some of those, uh, that little bit of that old old school music yeah. that Ooh. I know that, mm-hmm. is that, you're, is that you're always playing, like, Send for me if you need a friend. Yeah. Send for me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. She Thank has control. You. She was an opera singer. And she, um, really? if I'm not mistaken, you went to Julia Music School of Arts. Yes, I did. I got graduated there with uh, a degree in operatic studies. Oh, we ain't never had an opera sing sing for with her control. masters. I mean, she's a you, genius in what she does. Opera sing. Give me some in opera. No. Give me some in opera. I'm so dying. Well, she just oh, did. Uh, them, them speakers. If I give it to opera, them speakers will go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but I must say, an operatic singer has very the discipline that comes with singing like that style of music. Really? Though I don't want to be in because it's you have to have some pipes. Okay. But I have done some opera wow. uh, vocal exercises to give me that discipline because it definitely works that muscle. Yeah, <laughs> wow. Mr. Mr. Will That's Morris was up. so impressed by what we just said. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know, he's, he's right. Even if you just kind of lower your voice and sing the opera, you can actually, believe it or not, I've seen people, um, when we were in the Juilliard, they had a class that did that. And I actually saw mm-hmm. people blow out windows. <gasps> because oh, really? even even if they keep their voice very low, yeah. When you're tr- because that type of training, you are you are taught to you really come up from the core of your stomach. So your breathing is so powerful that even if you're at a whisper, they're going to hear you like two blocks down. Ooh, wow. Unbelievable. Yeah, it is. Yeah, when you're tr- when you're definitely trained that way. But the good thing about it is once you're trained on that type of music, you could sing almost anything. I mean, mm. you want to sing R and B, you want to sing rap, mm. you want to sing blues, you want to. You can go in any, uh, you could go into any genre that you want to go into. So it's it's probably, and you know it's funny because uh, the old time comedian Jerry Lewis. A lot of people did not know this, but his father had sent him to opera school. He was opera trained. Huh. Wow. Okay. Now, yeah, he he used to clown around. But if you ever listen to the recording where he really sings. Rock a bio baby. You can hear the operatic quality in his voice. Smart I mean he, move. he just you know, he always clowned around because he was a comedian. Uh-huh. But he was on a couple of shows where he was very serious and he sang and you actually heard the opera training. So uh Impressive. and a lot of people I uh, didn't realize that Michael Jackson actually took a couple of opera lessons. I was going to really? ask you that. I was going to. I sh- that was going to be my next question. Well, did Michael take any uh, classes? Yeah, Michael did because my. If you look, really listen to Michael, he had that range. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, Michael. and when Michael sang a ballad, and I'll I'll be honest with you, his brother Jermaine, when Michael passed away, and his brother Jermaine sang that song "Smile." That was the best version I had ever heard. You could you mm. could almost hear the operatic quality in his brother's voice as well. Mm. So they were trained. A lot of people didn't realize, but the Jackson brothers very very well trained as far as music. Uh, okay. Yeah, and you know what? A lot of people can't hear it. My ears were trained, so I can mm. almost tell you when I can say, "Hey, this one, oh yeah, they got a voice. That one." Eh, right. but this one, but yeah, Michael, I mean, when he really sang a ballad or even his pop, you knew he had the talent. I mean, just, just listening to him. And of course, when you, when you hear him on the, uh, you know, or you, you'd hear him on the, the radio or see him on television, you knew his talent was there. Mm-hmm. That's so, it. So Will, we might have to get say, you the opera. Look, look, I'm not going to find somebody that, that does some vocal lessons There here. you go. You just got a tip <laughs> on the side. It's a good deal. You know, good idea to learn it. Yeah. Just to straighten well, out you, who you are. If, now I'm serious. If you listen to Mimi with her energy, she probably could have been opera trained and would be <laughs> You know what, Miss Angela, I was a and chorus, <laughs> not wow. like you guys, but I was a soprano one. My oh! 
<laughs> she said a soprano one. Yes, it was. So that's so funny because I used to do that high pitch voice, but I, I'm not. I'm not like you guys. No, 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 no. no. Everybody can't do that soprano one. <laughs> so that's no, amazing soprano, feeling. Soprano one is 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 very hard. Yeah, it's it's true. When I they classified me as a uh, mezzo soprano, what that meant was mm. um, I was almost close to a first soprano. But that was, I could reach high and low, but mezzo met with full power. Mm -hmm. So you had a lot of lyrical sopranos, but they didn't have the power. Mm -hmm. I did. So there's all different ranges of, of opera. Um, you know, and some of the heavy op that's why the very heavy operas, somebody like me could go in and sing because we just had that, uh, that, you know, that power that could keep going for hours. But a lot of the lyrical sopranos had to do the light operas because uh, their voices would carry, but they couldn't, they just couldn't get into that three, four hours of, of keep going. That took a, a lot of stamina. Oh, yeah, you so, need some stamina for that. Yeah. But, uh, no, Mimi, I think you and I, we could do a singing act. Prince will be over there. He'll do his blues act. <laughs> <laughs> I know. it Real quick, not to go, not to get off the subject, but we're, we don't know yet if we're going to be on the cruise line going overseas. So we don't know that yet. But we're substituting that, if anything. Right, Miss Angela? Oh, yes. Okay, so we, we still are, have uh, plans in the makings, guys. And so stay in tune, stay in touch. We're going to release it. And if we don't go in the ship overseas, Prince, we will be heading to Miss Angela. We got plans. So we have plan A, we have plan B. That's right. <laughs> and, and, and the Super Bowl is coming up. So, yeah, we got oh, a lot yeah, of the great Super Bowl things coming is up. Coming it's it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be very interesting. I think 2021 is going to it's going to be a great year. Maybe not in the beginning, but by the time we get to mid March on, it's going to be on and it, popping. It is. Oh yeah, it, it's going to it's going to totally turn 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 around. I mean, they for very promising. They've got three vaccines coming out. Yeah, forty uh, million. Hmm. Yep, and I think that that's going to, uh, as they said today on the news, this could be uh, the beginning of the end. Oh! And I think that's, they say it's a light at the end of the tunnel. It was so to hear this. It is the beginning of the end with no longer Trump. So hopefully the virus vaccines comes out. <laughs> Side note. And also, Kelsey may be with us as she was part of the Super Bowl. She's Miss Multi-Universe. Okay. So she's part of Miss International World. Uh -huh. God willing, she will be with us in Tampa for the Super Bowl. All right. By the way, I just got my email today from the Super Bowl committee. Shut your mouth. Yes. Wait, the Super Bowl's going to be in Tampa? It will yes. be in Tampa. Where will you been? Oh, yeah. my God. Uh, when the Ty Brady's out there. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to be in there. No. Guess what, Mimi? Maya Suarez is going to, if, if they don't do it virtual and they do it live, Maya Suarez is going up, I heard. Oh. Wow. Ooh, we met him. He's such an amazing, uh, I don't want to say young. He's young to me, okay. young man. So I can't wait to meet him as well. He's very kind. He gave us so much uh, hospitality nice. in, in Southern Florida. So we appreciate that. Okay. Miss Angela, to all of our listeners, once again, please release your social media platform. Yes, exactly. So uh, this is, uh, we've had a lot of great things. And Mimi, again, I, I want to thank you uh, because, you know, I could not have done it without you and Peace on the Streets. And, you know, people just don't, people have to understand that when you hook up with a, with a great media partner, doors open up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and, you know, the doors open up. People recognize that. And, you know, it's, it's really, for me, it's opened a lot of doors. So uh, let's just keep uh, this journey going. We really appreciate your, your words. It's so strong. Thank and you. We love what we do. So, again, thank you for allowing us to be a part of your journey. What an amazing yes. journey so far. <laughs> we love you, Mrs. Yes, Angela. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Angela from Miss International World, Miss Latina International. Look her up on Instagram, Miss International World. Right Woo! here on Peace on the Street. Welcome hey. back, welcome back, welcome back to Peace on the Streets Radio Show. I'm your host, Prince of the South. And your girl, Mimi. We have Will Morris in the building and Mr. Ramsey yeah, yeah, yeah. from in the mirror. <laughs> what's up, what's up, what's up? If you guys don't know, In the Mirror and Peace on the Streets collaborated. So we have a huge Christmas event December 12th. Mr. Ramsey, please release to our audience exactly what's going on. I mean, we are collaborating together for uh, just giving back to the community for Christmas. I mean, we just got out of uh, the pandemic and, uh, you know, we're shifting into 2021. And I think it is time for us to bring hope, joy, love yes, uh, and all the great uh, Christmas festivities that the community can enjoy with just family and friends, music, food trucks. 
And I know Prince was talking about the bull ride. Yeah. So, you know, it's going to be cold it outside. It is coming. So, oh yes, the I know, I know Prince was talking about the bull ride. I have never done that. Prince. Yes, it'll the be bull, there. So, yeah, it would be you there. know, I've been telling kids about the bull ride. <laughs> and we're going to have DJ uh, Glenn from WOKB. <laughs> That's going to be in yep. the building, and nice. uh, it's been a ride. I mean, it was an idea about, what, a month and a half ago? Yes. Uh-huh. And we just going with it. It's our first annual. We're not looking for it to look perfect, but we're just looking to enjoy time with family and friends, with great artists and all that good stuff. Yes. Absolutely. And it gives everybody a platform. It gives the artists a platform to be able to sing. Where they have a home and they know they can come and perform. They have their songs that are just coming out. So we're excited, man. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Excited. Yes. You know, there's no hesitation. We really appreciate the artists. Within two weeks, we got booked. That's insane. Yeah. And yeah. that's by everyone just watching our flow, watching the consistency, watching the network, watching how we collaborate and how we work with each other. Right. Mm-hmm. I really appreciate the fact that they trust us. And it's a big deal. Yes. You know, and when they come, they're comfortable. We even feed them. We make sure yeah. everybody. Ooh, I ain't know about the feeding right <laughs> now. Yeah. Yeah. Slap the Apple Memphis style. We barbecue. slide that oh, yeah. into yeah. them. Yeah. 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 Because the artists coming from Miami. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Two of them yeah. are coming to drive in town yeah. to be One of them was a vendor, yeah. right? Um, is a vendor and an artist. Uh-huh. And that's Sean Oliveira. He yes. will be performing. He's a Christian hip hop artist. Nice. And we also have uh, Dub yeah. White yeah. that was just on air. Okay. He's coming from Miami. Okay. And wow. th- as well. And we appreciate it. Absolutely. Yeah. When people come from another city. Yeah. I mean, that's four hours away. We right? have people fly from out of state to see us. <laughs> yeah. So, hey, we, we always humble. We are so appreciate that. Yeah. One day I'm going to be able just to have but us you know, happen there. It, it's time, man. I, I, think, I think the key thing is shifting the perspective in 2021 is if we really want peace, we need to learn mm. how to collaborate for the community. Oh, yeah. You know, everything just can't be about money. You right. know, what are we doing for the community that's going to help the community thrive? Uh-huh. You're talking about small business bringing exposure. Like, we're blessed to have platforms where we're able to showcase other independent artists yeah. that's been working hard and saying, yo, I just want to perform. Yeah. I just want to I just want to start using my gift I need a chance. in a positive way, you know? Yeah. I think we all felt like that, right? Yeah. yeah. I just wanted, I just a, wanted chance. a chance yeah. for a long time. Yeah. And I had the chances, but the opportunities were... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we got the great Will Morris. Oh! Yeah. You know Will, Will been in here singing. Be <laughs> and, he, and he's got a live band. Literally, yeah. I had to work one on one with a DJ to cater to Mr. Will Morris. Wait, oh, you Lord. Say, wait, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh my God. I don't want to be that guy. No, 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 <laughs> no. Wait, wait, he has a live band. <laughs> so, th- th- that's what I'm saying. It's, don't worry about that because that was very yeah. impressive to me. Yes. Because you're like, I, I have a live band. I have uh, backup singers. I have a keyboard. I have, I'm like, oh you my made goodness. It. Yeah. Yes. You, yes. Absolutely. <laughs> you yes. made it. Uh, you have a band yes. and you made it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, y'all Other know people Will is a celebrity. So, you know, this is a guy who travels to Jersey, Canada. Yes, he does. And he just stated today he's going to be in London next month. <laughs> so, you know, Come on. And he ain't acting shy. And, you it, know, and you think it's us? It's him. Yeah, he's the one. You know, yes, it's good. I got to tell everybody, yes, oh that's with Morris. Oh I'm God. so proud of you and so happy to hear this. Yeah. Oh, my God. How, yeah. Is your band coming as well? Yeah. Yes, my band is coming. How do, how do they feel about this? They, they're excited. I mean, they, they for one, one thing I pride myself in is, I like to work with people that we can just be each other around mm. each other. So it's mm. not like this is like we're going to do work, but this is yeah. an opportunity for us to fellowship, create mem- mm. memories, and to connect with other people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and what better way to do that with music and a community event? Like, it all works together. So I'm, I'm we're definitely excited. Like, we're excited! <laughs> That's how Ramsey do it! <laughs> <laughs> so real. Give a shout out to your band members. Say All right, name. shout out to Jeff. Shout out to Jordan. Shout out to Elliot. Shout out to my backgrounds. It's a number of them, but all of y'all, nice. I love y'all. Um, we're gonna do this thing next week. Oh! Yes, uh, December the twelfth. You all yeah. don't want to miss location, Prince. Yes, nineteen fifty five South of Park of Violin, Orlando, Florida. Nineteen fifty five South of uh, Park of Violin in Orlando, Florida. You guys don't want to miss it. Memphis style barbecue. We mm. got the uh, mm. uh, cake lady out. She does yes. amazing. Oh, key lime. Uh, yes. She do key lime cake. Does uh, she? She does. The green she cake. might have the some. The green cake. Yeah. But she does banana pudding. It's out oh, this world. Man. And that banana pudding is amazing. Oh, I've tried yeah. it. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, that, that, that thing mess up everything. You, you, you just got to. Wait two days just to get back in the gym with that banana pudding. <laughs> she even does um, special cakes for whoever, so you can put in a request, because I actually put in a request to have a cake made for our team member. Exactly. He'll be with us Sunday. Yeah. She makes cakes. Oh. Uh, 
What's her name? Her name is Nikki. Nikki. She just signed up. She did just sign up. Yeah. And she's such a delight. I think she's an educator, by the way. So big shout out to her as well. Yeah. Nikki, yeah. Nikki. Yeah, she actually called from the school. So we appreciate her. Uh -huh. That's amazing. So it's called Walking Sweets by Nikki. Mm -hmm. Definitely want to check that out. Yeah. And yeah. by the way, we all going to have a meeting with Avengers and such. And eventually yeah. I'm going to have each and every one of them on air. Mm -hmm. I want to yeah. release them and, and appreciate their time wanting to be with us. That's a lot of trust. Right. Yeah. So we will release them as, as well one by one. But uh, yeah. it's an amazing feeling, guys. We're all yeah. together. Yes. I mean, yo, it's a free event. Free. You're not paying to get in. You're just coming to enjoy a festival that is just for the community right there on South. Like. Most people would pay $35 to go to a festival. Uh -huh. yes. This is free. It's free. Yep. Like, all you have to do e -E. is come create new memories with your family during Christmas time and be able to show your kids it's more than money. It's all about it's all about spending time together. Yes, mm. and Christmas songs is going to be played. The DJ is going to be jamming the Christmas Mr. songs. Mr. Glenn from <laughs> WOKB. I mean, his yep. family that will be there. Yep. And, guys, don't forget, this is Orlando largest nursery yes there's acres 28 and we did this for a reason yeah no one will be together no one will be on top of each other yes right. it's outdoors it's yeah. outdoors a horseshoe tournament too come I on horseshoe. horseshoe guys yeah and they are serious <laughs> yes they <laughs> serious about these horseshoes, you and you know what's like so cool about the landscape nursery what's that, you see brother? peace on the streets billboard oh, oh! oh! I oh, forgot about that. <laughs> so, I can't even breathe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I give a big shout out to Orlando Nursery yeah. because they allowed this yes. for us. The Hess wow. family. To put our mural the on teach. their wall, yeah. which was done by Peace on the Streets painters. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we collaborated with street artists, with painters. Yeah. Come on, guys. Yeah. Come on. All together. It's all it's about, once again, collaboration. Yes. Yes. I don't think people... Are, you got to hear this. We get hearts, Mr. In Ramsey. order for us to you. build that community... We need to collaborate. Mm. Uh -huh. And it does not take money for us to collaborate. It just takes all of us to come with a great mindset and agree on everything mm -hmm. and say, what can we do to benefit that's going to benefit the community? Because yeah. how do we say we're giving to the community when we're mostly taking from the community? Correct. Mm -hmm. Like, huh. that doesn't make sense. Yeah. If we really support small businesses, if we really support uh, restoring families and communities, bringing families back out to enjoy each other, then, hey, free event Come on out. Listen, you're going to have food truck. If you want to get something to eat, you can spend your dollars there. Yeah. There's a small business in, that's going through this pandemic, and they're hoping that you come out, spend money, so that their family can have food on the table while your family is enjoying a new memory. It's you a know? beautiful thing. Networking, and uh, everybody's working for one accord. You know? Yeah, They have a great time. Yeah, And it's free. You can't yes. be free, brother. No. Free. And live entertainment. Yes. Yes. With some of Orlando's best artists. We just don't got no Rudy Poops. <laughs> <laughs> Spell that. Spell that, Prince. Well, Rudy Poops. Rudy Poops. I ain't never heard no Rudy Poops. Are you <laughs> Poop? P O T P O P. Oh you got a bunch of hearts. They're loving you out here right now. You know, you know he's from the South. Rudy Poop, you know what I say? <laughs> Wait, you say Rudy what? He said Rudy Poop. I said Rudy Poop. Uh, we say Ninkum Poop. Ninkum Poop. Oh, <laughs> yes. 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 I know, I know oh, Ninkum Poop. Yes. Rudy Poop. We from the South. Oh, my it, goodness. It's Rudy Poop. Rudy Poop. Yeah, ain't nothing but old Rudy Poop. You're going to start to hear Pooh Bear. <laughs> 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 we got a bunch of hearts, so they're definitely feeling you guys, and we appreciate yeah. you being with us in the mirror for collaborating with us. That's yes. a lot of trust, and I Listen, appreciate that. Yes, well, you know, is. the biggest thing is the same mission. Same dreams, same goals, mm. yes. but different areas, and we're conquering it together. So that's yeah. the biggest thing. Yes, and a team is better than one. Yes, oh, yeah. a Always. team, man, is better. Absolutely. Especially Always. with everybody, like-minded individuals. I mean, it's a beautiful thing because it's not hard. We it's work, not. work it out, you know. Absolutely, so. you work it out. Yep. Even though if you read the text, it may seem a little, <laughs> a little <laughs> the texting boy. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> but we're family. Hey, y'all yeah. work it out. Hey, y'all, y'all be texting. Yeah. I, I, I come in. I'm like, oh, this is a whole chapter. Yeah. Yeah. Well, me, me, will leave a, <laughs> me, me, will leave five. Uh, a paragraph. Uh, uh, you know what I have a problem with? Like one sentence send, next sentence send, next uh, I, I got to keep it all together. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. My brother be telling me that. He's like, uh, get it together? Okay. It's all love, man. You know, it's you just got to continue to be consistent and persistent at when you're doing something at this level. Oh, CeeLo Christmas album. Yes. For real? Out of this world. I'm going to listen to he's it. He's underrated, right. I feel, and he's so diverse. And he can mm -hmm. sing. He yes, can. can. Is CeeLo from Atlanta? He is. Exactly. He's from Goody Mob, so. if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah. 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 So he's like a he's like a street but rapper. But I heard he's, he's an amazing writer. Oh yes. yeah. He I writes mean, for others and yeah. And I heard so. he's a beast. Yes. He
he's another talent that is um, I felt underrated. You know, what I mean, yeah. like, he's still alive. He he's still get, here. Let's still represent. And he getting paid. I'm sure. He's yeah, paid. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's see, why you don't see him. Look, yeah, yeah, all the people get paid. Absolutely. You no, he's like a heavy D in the game. He yeah, literally right. writes like everything for people for himself. He yeah. Wasn't he on the Voice? Uh, the yes. American Idol. Yeah, I think the Voice. Yeah, he got money for he got money for the rest of eternity. He's got Grammys. Yeah. Yeah. See, yeah, you my cousin. I mean, yeah. hey. I'm somebody's Some, will. Somewhere in that bloodline. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's when the messy person will can come on. Right. Uh, that we talk about. We need we need a messy person. <laughs> oh, so they can <laughs> they can start talking about what really you know. Cee- <laughs> I heard CeeLo kind of a little. Uh, uh, How so had funny somebody you say had that? a bad experience with CeeLo. Really? For real? Yeah, they had a bad experience. But you know, everybody have a bad day. Of course, you can't please everyone. Yeah, I heard okay. the same thing with Lauren Hill. Really? Oh, that's a whole oh, nother okay. story. Yeah, but we love Lauren. Thing. Lauren gave yeah. us miseducation of Lauren. Man. That album mm. is what, it's like a almost 20 years yeah. old? Yeah, it's now. like 30. And she's still making coins off that. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. That's a classic from, from A to Z, like all yeah. of the tracks on there. You know, oh, who else? She Mariah Carey. Oh, I'm yeah. just saying. I mean, yeah. Mariah's Christmas album alone yeah. is still Mariah. making Mariah. Yeah. Sure, yeah. But she was another one hard, hard to work with. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All I I want for hopefully, Christmas. Uh, Nick Cannon got half of that, uh, the royalties. <laughs> you never know. I don't know. He got booted out of a sh- his own show. Yeah. Oh, how, do you, how do you have your own show? And create your own show and get kicked off your own show. What? Because he don't own anything. That, yeah. And that's the conversation too. Because what? we as, as consumers, we, we see like the he he like he wrote everything, but that contract. The whole said thing different. was him. The mm-hmm. whole the creating of it, um, how he did it, and how he still produced was all him, and yeah. he had no rights to it. No. As mm. big as he is, he doesn't own. So we need to really think about these things as independent artists. That's why we're here to collaborate, to help each other, to build each other for royalties because yeah. that's your passion. Yeah. You should get paid for it. Yeah, yeah. that's your creative yes, idea. Absolutely. You were blessed with that vision. A yeah. lot of people have gotten screwed in the music industry. And, has and, been and as powerful to as they are, people, that's be scary. Like, Man, because yeah. he is very powerful. It has a lot of money and working with big time dogs. That they took it from you. Ugh. Yeah. Well, you know, a yeah. lot of people do not understand when it said it is ninety percent business and ten percent. Alex. Right, yep. that yep. business got to be on point. <laughs> wow. That business got to be, you got to be very aware. And I learned that from uh, T Pain manager. I had PT Pain manager in in on uh, wow. on the show, mm-hmm. and he was like a lot of artists, man. They hard to work with. They already think they done made it, and mm. they hadn't did no work. And they see T Pain. He said, "Man, T Pain wore out twenty pair of shoes trying to get his first CD out." Wow. So they don't understand the work. They just think you're just going to jump in, man. It takes yeah. dedication. And, now, today today you know. is different, though. I mean, the business is wide open today. Mm-hmm. You're talking about streaming, and you're talking about different platforms, independent platforms that you know that can really help you get fans where right. Fast, you can though. make money off merchandise. But most You still artists, need that business part yep. and that structure. You still need to understand mm-hmm. that. Yep. So we all need to learn that business aspect of it. And if you mm-hmm. don't know, collaborate with someone that's actually in the game. Yeah. You know, make sure you... you Develop a friend. Or take yeah. a business class. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, School. I mean, YouTube if University. You can do it. <laughs> yeah, right. you know, you can find a way to learn the logistics of it. I've actually yeah. learned it in radio by being around artists in studios. Mm-hmm. I, I know how to guide them now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Big deal. You have and to we're working with artists at East Studio. Right. Big shout out to East Studio, by the way. Yes. Yep. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. So we got to go, guys. Yes, we I'm do. so sorry, but we have to go. Miss Williams, thank you for listening to us at home. We love you. Yeah. Will Morris, we love you, man. Thank you for being y'all. with us. Thank love you, y'all. Mr. Ramsey's from in the mirror. Hey, appreciate you Amazing. Y'all. Keep Blessings. reaching out to the community. I love yep. how you support them. It's just insane. God bless you on that journey. Yeah. Prince, you know, if it wasn't for you, I want to be here. Hey. So thank you so much hey. for me being here. We appreciate you being here. <laughs> WLKB, we love you. Mr. Glenn, thank you for calling. And also, Miss Angela, we appreciate you. Deep up yeah. white. We appreciate you. Go to perform. And again, guys, the saddest thing is wasted talent. Don't waste the gift that God has given you. Right. Go full force and don't let fear or intimidation stop you. Oof. What a snow chis, Orlando. Yeah, but oh, nice. see you too, me, me. Hey. hey, you guys, we'll be back on again next Wednesday night from uh, 9 to 11. Continue to support and uh, listen to uh, the, uh, WOKB, WOKB Peace WOKB on the Streets. <laughs> <laughs> I know we Peace said this on all the night. Radio <laughs> show. Uh, we'll be back on next week. God bless you. Peace on the streets. We out of here, you guys. Peace. Oh, hey.